Hey, I'm Tim. I exist only as part of your imagination, so you should probably get some help. I don't know why you're using Cubase LE4. You're probably just too cheap to get some real software. But I'll be showing you how to do some editing. Make sure you get out all that crap that you did anyway. So the first thing to do, you want to name your files. I'm going to name it crap1, crap2, because you know it's crap. We're also going to change the colors. Let's change it to a... Uh, let's see... Purple's a crappy color. And... So is blue. They're both crappy colors. Fitting for crap. We're just going to record some crap. This is the crap that I'm saying right now that's getting recorded. So you want to make sure that it's recording. We're going to zoom in after we disarm these tracks. Rewind. As you can see, the zoom features, you got the shortcuts right here. It's always good to look them up. So we're going to zoom in with H. And we're going to zoom into these tracks using Alt-Down. All down. Just hit them until they're big enough. That's what I always say. Now you want to make sure that if you're snapping to the grid, that you know your resolution of snapping. Because when you try to do your trim, it's going to be all jumpy. You can make it slightly less jumpy by snapping to the beat. You know, snap. Snapping to the beat. Or you can turn this off and get a nice smooth trim. I'm going to snap it to the bar just because I want to get rid of a lot of this crap. I'm also going to make a marker track. Just going to add track, marker track. I'm going to move it up here and I'm going to make it smaller. Now it'll make the track where you have the cursor, so make sure you put it there, and then if you want to name it, let's just say, part of crap. And then if you wanted to make another one, like here, you could say, part of crap too. Now if you wanted to play back a loop or something, you can just try this cycle on off button. And that way, you know, you can adjust this spot, and then I'm going to mute these tracks so you don't actually have to hear the crap. But when I play it, it'll just loop that selection. You're also going to want to separate things. You know, you got all these buttons up here, and they're all mapped to the number button. So if I hit 3 for split, you can split it right here. You would split it here, and just cut all this crap up. You don't want it anyway, so I'm going to go back to the selection tool, number one. Just hit delete a bunch of times, because that's all you have to do. And now I can move things around, move it up here, move it over here. Now I'm going to want to do some crossfades, so I don't get these stupid pops when I'm trying to mix my crap. I'm going to stop snapping and do this highlighting tool, it's number two. So I'm going to highlight here, I'm going to zoom in with that H button. And so if I just, you know, highlight here, we have audio crossfade, and so you see that the X button is going to make you get a crossfade in there, which is going to eliminate pretty much any pop that you get as a result of having two audio files coming together. Now we're going to zoom really in there for no reason and then zoom out. Now we're going to do the same over here. We're just going to hit the X button and go crossfade. 
And then the other thing that we have is the glue button for when you want to stitch all your crap back together. And that's number four. So you see that if you glue that one and that one together, then you can glue these three together. And then you got just one audio file that you can carry around with you wherever you want to go. You can put this crap over here where it says part of crap. And we're going to go back to snapping to the grid. So, it takes a lot of practice, and you probably don't want to, but if you get in the habit of using these shortcuts, you'll become faster and more effective at editing your crap. Thanks for watching, I guess, even if you just wasted your time. But let me know what you thought.